Hey guys, um, today we'll be talking about uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs' newest acquisition, Dave Boland, uh, who we acquired from the Chicago Blackhawks. So, um, as you can see, he probably doesn't have the greatest aim, <laughs> but uh, we've, we've acquired Dave Boland. Obviously, he's no Phil Kessel or anything like that, but um, he's still um, a decent player. Um, and he, in juniors, um, he was known to be a pretty good player, in fact. So, um, Dave Boland, I think this was a pretty good acquisition, um, by the Toronto Maple Leafs. We didn't trade much to get him. Um, we, we traded, like, a couple low draft picks, like, three low draft picks, or two low draft picks and a fourth round pick for next year. So, um, um... You know, I think that it was a, a decent or pretty good acquisition by Dave Nonis. Um, you know, so far it seems like uh, Dave Dave Nonis is, uh, you know, he's looking to make a change. He's looking to make it his own team. You know, as we know this year, we can't lie that this this year's team we made it to playoffs and everything. This year's team was uh, Brian Burke's team. Um, Brian Burke, um, you know, he made a lot of good trades, such as the Lupo uh, and Gardiner for Bosherman or the Van Riemsdyk trade um, and uh, he's oh wow okay there we go I got that so he's one of the the main reasons that we had a, a great team this year and uh, you know I didn't like Brian Burke but uh, looks like he did a pretty good job we just didn't give him enough time to prove it so um, you know Dave Nonis it looks like he's trying to make it his own team um, other than the maybe O'Byrne acquisition, these two new acquisitions, Bernier and Boland, um, have been pretty good acquisitions, I find. I think they're great acquisitions. Uh, you know, now that uh, I'm, at the time I'm making this video, it's, it's, um, I'm a little late on the trade because we've signed uh, Clarkson and Bozak recently. Um, so now, with the, now that we've signed Bozak, um, you know, I think that uh, Kadri is going to be our second line center for sure. Now with the buyout of Garbaski as well, uh, and um, Bolin's probably going to be our third line center. I'm pretty sure of it because I don't think Kadri is going to be in that third line position. Uh, and Bozak, what I mean, sorry, Bolin was a third liner uh, when he was on Chicago, so um, and he didn't exactly perform to expectations. But um, he is known to, to to be able to score, and he did score that winning goal for Chicago. Although, like, I think that people have a little bit too much hype on that. Yeah, it's the the winning goal, but it's it's just one goal. You know, it was the most important. But I don't think that a whole player can be rated on the one goal. Um, like, for example, in the Olympics, you know, Sidney Crosby didn't really perform well, but he got the the goal that won gold um, and everybody remembers that more than anything but I remember I was watching and he didn't play well at all during the whole thing I think that was the only goal he scored and it was the winning goal so you know we can't exactly um, rate a player's performance on one goal even though you know Sidney Crosby not a good example because he's a good player but um, you know for David Boland I don't think that just because he scored the winning goal you could say that he's an amazing player or whatever you know it's one goal anybody could score it you know if, Fraser McLaren could score a winning goal, uh, and it doesn't mean that you know he's an all-star player. So um, for David Boland, uh, I have high hopes for him. Uh, we have a hometown boy here, another hometown boy coming to Toronto, um, and I just think that he'll be a great fit on that third line, uh, and we'll finally have like that third line settled because um, you know Toronto's third line's been pretty messed up lately it's just like uh, we have two second lines pretty much that's what I how I saw it we were just like moving players from the third and the second all the time while well, I aimed at the wrong place I thought there was still a target um, so we've been moving players from the um, third and second line all the time um, and it's not exactly a good thing um, you know we really want to have stable lines obviously some players are going to move up rookies like you know um, Kadri, who, you know, at the beginning of the season, we had to set him in a position where he felt comfortable, where, where um, he had to play as a rookie. 
uh, and uh, then we found out he was good and we're able to move him up so um, uh, that's personally um, what I think um, about that but you know our th our third line I think is set now um, and uh, I think the team's looking pretty good uh, you know with Boland uh, and I think that definitely our center you know with you know our, the sentiment are exactly the same except now instead of uh, Grabowski we have Boland and uh, I think that our up the middle we're looking better this season than we did last season just because of Grabowski's inconsistency even though he was good hopefully I think that Boland will be consistent enough you know he'll always give you what you expect of him uh, unlike Grabowski where I think maybe we were expecting uh, so much and he was disappointing so um I hope you like this video guys um, uh, please show some support give it a like and uh, comment to tell me what I what you guys think I can improve on uh, you know I think one thing I have to improve on is maybe my aim as you can see I'm missing a lot of targets but uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later